Hola, Rodis. Welcome to the road trip. Hi. Rodis. Today's Monday, and I am trying a new recipe today. Crush fingers. <laughs> yeah. And I have a backup just in case this is nasty. <laughs> yeah. But I seen this picture on Instagram. Yum. And I thought that looked so good. So we're going to give it a whirl. So join us as we try <laughs> Monday recipe day. Let's give this a shot. I'm hopping out the back seat. I'm gonna be the driver. Switch it into high gear, cause this is gonna be my year. So the first step is to take a whole head of cauliflower, break it up, and get it to steam. So actually, I had this lid on it. So it's steam now. For eight minutes is what the recipe says. We'll check back in a few minutes. Next part, roadies, chop up four cloves of garlic. I'm draining the cauliflower right now, but I'm just going to use the same pot because I have to put the cauliflower back in here. So it says you need one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to the, put the garlic in there next. We're going to get that sauteing. I need three-fourths cup milk. And I can only find the one-fourth cup, so we're going to do three times. Whatever works, whatever gets the job done. Okay. You need to use two percent, right? 2%, yeah. Probably 2%. Okay. Next, roadies, is vegetable stock. Now, I got unsalted vegetable stock to kind of cut down on the sodium. You need one cup of it. One cup. Just like that. Okay. All right, roadies, final ingredient, some Parmesan cheese. It says one-fourth of a cup, but I like it a little cheesier. So we're going to put a little bit more than that. One-fourth of a cup in. Okay, now once all that's in there, I'm going to stir it around, but then the next thing you got to do is put it in a blender. And all I have is a Nutribullet, so that's going to work for me today. All right, roadies, once it's all blended via my Nutribullet, it looks something like this, which would be your marinara, or your marinara, your Alfredo kind of sauce. So now I'm going to let this chill for a second while I cook my shrimp, spinach, and noodles. Well, roadies, I've already started this and totally forgot to show you guys. So this was actually just one bag of small deveined peeled shrimp and then it said put four cups of spinach. So not everybody likes spinach so I just put a little bit of spinach and I'm just making sure this is done. Just flip them while my water is boiling. I'm trying to get my water to boil so I can put my noodles in there. This is what I'm doing. So now you just cook your fettuccine noodles but I break them in half and get a, make a mess. But it's okay. And these are Barilla and they're just regular. Do you put a pinch of salt in there so that they don't stick to the bottom? No. Okay. And that goes for 12 minutes, Rodies. Move them around a little bit, make sure they don't stick to the bottom. Let that cook for 12 minutes. Then you mix it all together. The next Go. shot will be when we plate it, correct? Next shot, I will mix it all together and plate it. All right, roadies. Once you mix it all together, it looks just like Alfredo. And I've heard from the peanut gallery. It, it is honest to God. Really, and I've been skeptical all day. Ma <laughs> Mama Garcia approves 100%. Papa Garcia. Papa Garcia. Yeah. He approves too. Eight one. Eight Ooh. Up. Up. Roadies, I think it's going to be pretty good. Well, Roadies, I think dinner was a success. It was. Did you like it? I did. I And I I'm not like a huge fan of shrimp. I like coconut shrimp. I just don't like just plain shrimp, I guess you could say. But it was really, really good. I, I mean, that's toot my own horn. But, no, I, thought it was, it was really but good. I thought it was really good. What I love most about it is because I'm actually like, I like, if we go to an Italian restaurant, I usually will order some form Alfredo. of Alfredo. Um, and honestly, you could not tell the difference. Um, it probably could use a little salt and a little pepper, but I think teach their own, they can put it on their own as that you get plated because I didn't have no extra seasoning to it, as you guys see. Yeah. But it was, it was so, so good. good. Okay, roadies, I hope you guys like this video. It's already it's what's 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Dinner's, Dinner's done. done. Now I just have a lot more water to drink. Me too. But I don't feel like, you know how when you eat like Italian food sometimes, you feel like, yeah, yeah. I just feel like awesomeness. Yeah.
Do you enjoy? Out of how many? Ten out of, I'm, out of how many stars out of ten? Would you give it? Out of ten? Out of ten. 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 My mom says ten. Ten, ten stars. That's awesome. I say ten stars. Definitely ten. Yeah. What I love. What I love most about it was, like I said, you know, you can't tell, and it has the same texture. It's thick and it's creamy, <laughs> and you would. I'm sorry. No, you're. No, right. you're good. It's thick and creamy. You would never ever. If you didn't, if I didn't know, if I hadn't seen you made it, and I knew that was bro uh, cauliflower, cauliflower, yeah, I would have never guessed it. Yeah. I would have thought it was loaded with creamy, creamy ooey goodness, ooey goodness. <laughs> Like half, 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 and half. Yeah, because like usually you put like whipping cream, whipping cream. you put all kind of the, you know, to make it thick and creamy, but no. Whipping cream. Well, Rodies, this is super, super healthy. Yeah. Yes, it was super healthy, was super, super good. good, and super tasty. Yep. All three things that we love. Yep. Rodies, say with us. Today, Today I, I can, can do anything. anything. And you did. <laughs> I was about to like share in favor. <laughs> that was not it. Say it, believe it, achieve it, Rodies. Please share this recipe with your family and friends because I'm telling you, if they like Italian food, they should give this a try. Yep. And you could swap it out. You don't have to put the spinach and the shrimp. Put chicken and broccoli. The, put anything. The recipe actually calls for mushrooms. We just yeah, put the mushrooms exactly. in it. Yeah, exactly. I'll leave the. Um, I'll try to find the link to the to the actual recipe so I can put it below. But it calls for mushrooms. But nobody in the family, like some people, just don't like them, so I didn't put them in there. Yep. But Rowdy. So that being said, we hope you had a wonderful Monday. Guess we'll see you next. Manana, bye. You haven't seen the best of me.